Hey everybody, this is Nick Palmashano with... Are you listening? Dude, what the fuck? Come on, man, this is serious. Today we're going to talk about five things that happen in military movies that absolutely do not happen ever in the military. Unnecessarily trying to create a fair fight. You will watch a movie for two hours where for one hour and 59 minutes our protagonist is killing everybody that comes in his path. Then we get to the last minute of the movie. And what happens? The bad guy challenges you to a game of fisticuffs. And for some reason, we decide we're not going to fight this guy with a gun. Great idea, moron. Let's do that. What the fuck? That's a bunch of bullshit. And we all know it. You know what happens in the military? The opposite of that. We don't say, hey, we're going to go fight those guys, so let's line up all of our infantry against all of their infantry and run at each other and see who wins. We bomb the motherfuckers for months at a time. Then when we land, we land with artillery, we land with tanks, we land with everything under the sun, and we create a grossly unfair fight. Every single time, that's what we're trained to do. Make it unfair. An L-shaped ambush isn't called an L-shaped ambush because we love L's, it's because we want them to be fucking losers. A general disrespect for the difference between cover and concealment. A giant fucking rock is cover. A human body hastily thrown in front of you while you're shooting over the bad guy's shoulder is not. Here's why, and this is a little hard for some people to understand. Bullets go really fucking fast. They will go through one body, two body, three body, four. Five body, six body, seven body, more. Oh, you're gonna throw a table in front of your path and that's gonna somehow miraculously stop everything? Look, when you go to a range, what's behind all the targets? If you're at an outdoor range, there's a big pile of earth at the end. They literally take the world and stretch it out to stop the bullet. If you're at an indoor range, you've got a whole bunch of steel back there. In general terms, cover will stop a bullet. Concealment just keeps them from seeing you. Here are some examples. Cover. Concealment. Cover. Concealment. Cover. Concealment. The hero has the god gun. He never misses. He can fire from the hip. He has unlimited ammunition. There's no recoil. It's completely silent with a suppressor or a pillow. Basically, every single round he fires is a laser-sighted, heat-seeking missile that only hits enemy foreheads. Ride it, ride it, ride the pony. Pop, 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 your dead is baloney. Get <laughs> The over dramatic salute. Don't get me wrong, salutes are important. It is a way for enlisted to show respect to the officer corps and for the officer corps to show respect in return. However, it is not the monumental task that they make it in the movies. You know, guys walking out like, ooh, you know, here I am, like, I guess I was wrong about you, Sergeant. You are man enough for my military. Thank you, sir. I didn't want to let anybody on my team down. Seriously, that thing that you did, it was really awesome. It was just instinct, sir. You trained me well. Sometimes you just gotta let instinct take over. It's the true mark of a warrior. I'm a warrior, not a worrier. The true metal of a man is forged in the harsh fires of combat. I put the oo in oora. At ease. The knife fight. In movies, the knife fight is a ballet of blades, a symphony of slashes, a dance between two armed combatants that have trained for years. As we hear clink after clink of blade hitting blade, we stop and think, wow, these guys are amazing. Here's the reality. I've taken a bunch of knife fighting courses, and here's what we learn in each one. Knife fights fucking suck. Don't get in a fucking knife fight! Because you're gonna get cut bad, and it's gonna suck. If you do get in a knife fight, you know what the next thing they tell you is? Be prepared to get cut and see sinew, bone, and muscle rip apart. 
so that your reaction is to stay focused on cutting the other guy and not to go, ah, ah, ah. Looks like it's finally time. I've been waiting my entire life for this. I'm about to show you how much better I am. I am the one who is better. Let's do this. Now it's time for Bedtime Lullabies with Jack Mandeville. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again.